Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here at the First Alert Desk on Atlanta News First Plus. Wanted to cut into your programming if you're watching on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and uh, let you all know on YouTube that we are monitoring a crash that has shut down I-75 South in Cobb County. I'm going to full screen this view that we have from one of our First Alert weather cams. It's just showing you the traffic is at a standstill, and from the looks of it, I think this traffic cam is actually a better angle for you. It just looks like multiple vehicles are involved. I'm going to tell you what we know and what we're working to find out at this point. Now we know the crash happened in the area of Windy Hill Road shortly after 2 o'clock. It is currently 2.50. Uh, we did get from GDOT uh, and 5.11 a couple ongoing uh, clear times that they seem to be increasing the closer we get to three. Uh, the previous time, clear time I believe was 2.39. Obviously it is 2.50 so we have uh, elapsed that. So no telling when this scene can clear right now we do know that all lanes on I-75 south in Cobb County near Windy Hill Road remain closed and they will remain closed until crews can work to clear this area. If I bring my graphic down you can kind of see some of the action that's going on. There's a fire truck on the scene and it looks like multiple cars uh, in what appears to be a wreck. I mean, they are not moving. They, they seem to be very close to one another. Uh, we don't have a lot of details other than multiple vehicles are possibly involved in this crash. You can see in the shoulder area of all of this, there are a few cars that are trying to move past this area, but for the most part, you're just not getting a lot of movement. Again, all lanes shut down just before I-285. This is what you're looking at, I-75 in Cobb County, just uh, uh, before I-285 near Windy Hill Road. This has been just an ongoing situation since uh, shortly before two o'clock, I wanna say, for the past hour and it doesn't appear that we're going to get any clear uh, lanes clearing up anytime soon. Right now traffic does appear to be at a standstill and growing which is a big concern especially we're talking about rush hour traffic starting at this point. Uh, that, that pile uh, that traffic can build up for miles and miles and miles if crews aren't able to clear this area in a timely fashion. Right now, no word on when we can expect lanes to clear. Like I mentioned before, we are staying up to date with GDOT um, and monitoring the latest to come out from officials on clear times. What it appears to be happening right now is we are getting some anticipated clear times, but it doesn't look like crews are able to clear this scene fast enough uh, to for, for those lanes to start clearing up right now. It, it looks like we're still uh, in the beginning of stages of response here with the amount of vehicles that we're seeing on the road and traffic in the meantime, just continuing to build. As you can see from this Atlanta News first weather camera right outside of Truist Park, you can see traffic just just starting to grow uh, each time I pan to this shot here. But really, this is the most telling. You have a fire truck on scene. You have multiple cars in what appear to be a wrecked manner. Uh, again, details are limited. I can see in the distance a couple of police vehicles, what appears to be police vehicles. So we do know that crews are on scene responding to this. We have a couple people, uh, a couple crews standing around in the middle of all of this. Um, responding to to the, this situation again a crash we know there was an overturned tractor trailer that has seemingly shut down all southbound lanes of i7 I-75 in Cobb County. We're con continuing to monitor. Um, we want to get you uh, an accurate estimate on clear times, but right now, from what it seems, we are not going to be able to get you that idea until we can start to see some of these vehicles get cleared out and some of these lanes starting to reopen. That has not happened at this point. We do know from, what, from the looks of this, it appears that multiple vehicles are involved in this crash. We know an, a tractor trailer overturned and that those lanes were shut down just shortly after after two o'clock. So creeping into our three o'clock hour and it does not look good at this point. If you are nearing this area, I know rush hour traffic is starting to pick up. You don't want to get stuck in this. There is not a lot of wiggle room for you to find an exit. I know a couple uh, vehicles here can, you can see in the shoulder are trying to make their way around this crash, but that is a very small sliver of room for you to really move through and pass this. So if you can avoid this area as best as possible, that's going to be our recommendation.
All right, stepped away there just to check on any updated information before we get you to our your Atlanta News First newscast at three. Again, I want to recap everything as we have a couple more minutes together uh, before our Atlanta News First on-air team is going to take you through the latest. We do have a crew uh, that is responding to this. We're going to have more reports for you uh, on Atlanta News First starting with our three o'clock newscast and online. We already have a web story out with this live stream with any and all information that is coming from officials is getting dropped there and we're sending major updates to your phone in case you or your loved one are impacted by this. Again, this is a major roadway. We're talking about I-75 South in Cobb County. This is at Windy Hill Road. A mess on the roadway uh, has seemingly shut down all lanes on I-75 South. Uh, this happened, this, this truck overturning uh, just after 2 p.m. we're told from uh, GDOT and, and really now the focus is on how crews are going to safely clear this area and get traffic moving through. You can see um, in the far right area on the shoulder, a couple of vehicles are able to get through, but it is slow moving and traffic is just continuing to build up. I mean, when we first started this stream, you couldn't see any cars behind those trees. It, it was seemingly clear, but as rush hour kicks in, as more people are going to get off work and head through this area, those cars are going to start to pile up um, and traffic is going to get heavier and heavier. So if you can avoid this area as best as possible, that is my recommendation. You can bypass this entire crash by exiting at Delk road and heading west to Cobb Parkway on US 41 to I-285. That is going to be your best bet. If you take anything away from this is use your alternate routes. We have some uh, alternate routes listed on our website atlantanewsfirst.com and in the app if you have it, it's going to be Delk Road and then head west to Cobb Parkway on US 41. That'll take you to I-285. So we'll continue to keep you updated with our Atlanta News First newscast at 3. We're going to be following the latest to come out of this and our hardworking team here at Atlanta News First is going to keep you covered from start to finish. So download that app. We'll push out notifications on when this road is expected to clear and anything else that you might need. If you're stuck here already, you're going to want to watch our coverage because we will give you the best idea of when you're going to start to see some movement on Atlanta News First. So download the app, stay up to date, check out our website atlantanewsfirst.com. We're dropping all of our uh, updates and information that we get from officials and crews that are on scene directly onto our website and app. Have a great day.